Day three, Monday. Uh, the spot I wanted to go to is the spot that me and Cass hunted, and there was a truck sitting there. So I made the journey farther out to Highway 17, Roby area, Mark Twain, Big Woods. I hit the ditch here in a spot I've been to before. Um, looks really good down in here. I've seen a lot of good sign. I killed a pretty decent buck here a few years ago. Gonna walk through here. It's raining. It's just sprinkling now, but if it it's supposed to thunderstorm later if it starts that mess I have a rain suit I can put on so GoPros only today because of the rain uh, let's get in here and see what we can do So here's what we got. There's two scrapes 20 yards away. There's rubs, and there's a lot of draws all coming together, which is called, I call them an intersection. We're gonna sit here for a minute. We're gonna spend the morning right here. We're gonna call, and we're just gonna wait around and see if something shakes. Why are you recording this, Don? This is part of the narrative. I just figured it might make a, a good midpoint crisis or raise the stakes of the story. Shut the camera off, Don. This is like a cable tie thing. Look at this. 
Go to Lowe's and pick you up one of these and you just wrap it around and it holds them tight together. some very weird things on public land. I think this one takes the cake. It's like a, some kind of a scarecrow. Huh. Okie dokie. a little bit and uh, move on to something that I don't think hunters have raped over opening weekend. I think I just found the largest buck rub I've ever seen. This is incredible. Got some lunch in me. Drove around a little bit. Just, uh, I went to go try to get to a property that looked like it was landlocked, but had a, a public road going to a corner of it. And when I got back there, there were some, a couple of individuals who did not want me going down that road. They claimed that they owned it and it was private property, but the map showed it was public, um, had a road name, is what it is. So I came north on Highway 17 and I ducked off on this little gravel road here that actually, if I'm looking at the map right, it comes out at one of my little honey hole spots. Unless that's the one where the bridge is gone. Maybe that's what it is. It would go through, but the bridge is out. I think I remember that now. But we're going to haul off in here and see what this piece looks like. We're gonna go that direction. There is a saddle and I wanna see it. Since deer don't exist on Mark Twain, I'm gonna teach you guys something that maybe you don't know. If you're an experienced hunter, I'm sure you do, but if you're a new hunter or you're a kid that's wanting to get into it, here's a way to tell the difference between rubs. So I just found this rub, and I wanna point out the fact that these shavings right here are almost all on top of these leaves around it. See here how the shavings are on top? See that? Shavings on top of the fallen leaves is a fresh rub, okay? These leaves have been falling like crazy in the last two, three weeks, so this is a fresh rub. This is an example of a rub that is an older rub, but it's still from this year. Now how you can tell, see at the base, you see the leaves? there. There's the shavings. They're down underneath the leaves. If you can't see the shavings and leaves are on top of them, it's an older rub. Now there's one more kind of rub I want to explain to you, but I got to find one first. I think I just found it. So the third kind of rub I want to tell you about is what I call a historical rub. So it's a rub from at least last season or several seasons back. It is not a rub from this year. I'll show you what that looks like. <clears throat> so you can see how old it looks. It's all brown. It's not white, bright white colored like those other ones I showed you. I mean, that's a heck of a rub. That's a really good one. I can't get my hand around that tree, but that's a good rub, but it's a historical rub. When I'm scouting public land, if I can put together some fresh rubs with shavings on top, some older rubs with shavings under the leaves, and then there's also historical rubs, all in a few hundred yards. Yeah, 
that means bucks are coming through here regularly all the time, year after year. That's a good thing. Somebody help me with this one. Buried fiber optic cable. Call before you dig. I'm a mile and a half from anything. Why is there a fiber optic cable buried in the middle of Mark Twain? Secondly, who the crap's gonna come out here and dig a hole? Ugh! It's starting to get windier now. I say there's a chance of rain about three. I think it's about one now, so we'll see. I'm starting to get wore out. I've walked a lot today. I think I'm on mile 14. I've only seen two deer. It's incredible. I don't know how you can you can cover this much of this these woods and only see two deer. Where the crap are they all at? Another rub. I'm trying to just kind of follow where the rubs are. Continuing our lessons, I found a scrape, but it's an old scrape. See right there? You can tell it's old by the way it looks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. See how the leaves are in it? That hasn't been freshened in a while. And you'll always know it's a scrape because above it will be a limb that they call the licking branch. And normally you'll be able to see it's broken there, it's broken there, it's broken there. And what the buck will do is he'll come up here and he'll rub his head on it and his antlers and there's scent glands up there on top of his head and he'll get all that scent on there. I probably wouldn't hunt this. Whatever buck made that, has moved somewhere else or is no longer with us. Now, if you find one of them scrapes, it's fresh dirt, no leaves in it or nothing, there's a buck hitting that pretty regularly. That would be something to sit on. That's what she said? It is windy as all get out. 30 mile an hour gusts. I'm thinking the deer don't like it any more than we do. So I'm back at my honey hole, which is two videos ago, I bow hunted the other side of the road. I'm coming to this side now. I've had encounters with big bucks down here in the past. And there's usually does that bed in this little thicket thing in the bottom of this holler. So I think does are going to be bedded down there to get out of the wind. And I think bucks are going to cruise by it to check them. I don't know. It's like 2.30. Uh, this is day three? Yeah, Monday, day three. Uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, I've walked... 14.4 miles today and seen two deer. That gum, son. Hmm. This is a spot a couple of years ago. <clears throat> Me and Cass came down here. And at first light, I started rattling. And I rattled in a buck. He came in downwind and blended us and took off up the hill. He was big. Down here, there's a bunch of draws that all come together. And that's where I like to sit, and there's usually some scrapes right there. And then right over here, there's all the cedar bedding area. So it's like open woods, open woods, all this stuff comes together, bedding. It's a really good spot. There's a two-man tree stand behind me. I climbed up in it, because in the state of Missouri, you can. If a tree stand is on public property, it is public property. So legally, I could sit in it. But I don't want to. I think he's too far up the hill. I want to be down here in it. That's what she said. <laughs> I think I'm done. It's four o'clock p.m. And this wind is absolutely freaking brutal. My face is on fire, my eyes are dried out, my lips hurt. You can't hear anything. It's fixing to storm. And my body is in a lot of pain. I walked way too much today. My feet hurt, my legs hurt, my butt hurts. And I have a lot of editing to do. So, I'm gonna go home, eat some real food, Jump in the hot tub for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna edit a video and try to get it out for you guys today or tomorrow. Anyway, unless something pops up between here and the truck, that's probably gonna do it for this one. I don't understand where all the deer are at. I'm walking through a freaking bedding area. This thing should be loaded with deer on a day like this. The wind.
land and stuff. I don't get it. Call dang. I wanted to thank some of our sponsors who help us get up and down the road. Dude Wipes, Twisted Iron Hunting, Tree Sticks, Dawson Hot Wheels, Bone Reaper Outdoors, and Rack and Stick. Check them out.